Baby shark, goo 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 goo. Baby shark, goo 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 goo. Baby shark, goo 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 goo. Baby shark, mommy shark. I just saw Godzilla, King of the Universe, and this movie was surprisingly good. Like I went in expecting Godzilla 2014 with more monsters. I got Avengers meets Pokemon. The main point that I want to get across is that this movie is the best movie I've seen this year. And I've only seen three, and I haven't seen Shazam, and I haven't seen Pokemon Detective Pikachu, and I haven't seen some other ones, but it's way better than Captain Marvel, and it's way, way better than Endgame. This movie had such better action. First of all, they set this thing up right, okay? So it starts off. We do have to warn everyone that there are spoilers ahead. Major spoilers. Spoilers in the house. With Millie Bobby Brown and her mother, and they're like in this apartment, and they're talking and they're setting it up, and I'm hinging on every word, like the dialogue's good, everything's pretty good. You're like, okay, who are these people? They weren't in the previous movie. And then all of a sudden, it zooms out, and they're in a jungle and they're talking to Mothra. So Mothra is still in the larva phase. I have to put a caveat into this. I am not a Godzilla lore expert. In fact, I'm a Godzilla newbie. I know less than the average person, probably. I saw the 2014 version, I know some of the characters, and that's it. So to me, when I'm seeing Mothra in the larva stage, I'm like, this is so sweet. It's um, reacting all crazy, it's about to kill people. So the mother is playing this orca, they call it an orca sound wave frequency thing. And it basically is able to calm Mothra down. So it calms down, all of a sudden, brruh, 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 these guys come in with guns and they kill everyone besides the two women. Already, 10 minutes in, there's way more action than Endgame, okay? Um, so they they take them. I forgot every single detail, so I'm kind of kind of power through this here. But basically, they go straight to wake up freaking uh, King Ghidorah. So King Ghidorah gets like awoken like right in the beginning middle of the movie. It's like not probably the first 40 minutes. King Ghidorah is awakened to the an epic fight scene where you find out that the woman, the mother, breaks King Ghidorah open. There's this epic fight. By the way, already you've seen more monsters in this up until this point than all of 2014. People are dying left and right. King Adora handles Godzilla, handles him. And you get some exposition. The mother comes up screen. She is Thanos. She is a better Thanos in Endgame than Thanos was in Endgame. She basically is saying that she wants to wipe out the earth because of population and over pollution and all these things, which I love because they make the Greenpeace person, the crazy Greenpeace lunatic, the villain of the movie, which goes against all this SJW propaganda. So already in the middle of the movie, Godzilla is handled, King Ghidorah is alive, and they're going around awaking all these monsters up. And you're like, buckle your seatbelts because I don't know how this is gonna end. So all of a sudden the military comes in and they shoot, they launch an oxygen destroyer at King Ghidorah and Godzilla, wipes them both out, oh wait, King Ghidorah doesn't get wiped out. They realize he's an alien and he has regeneration abilities. So you're like, oh my God, they just killed off your only possible hope. In the meantime, in the middle of the movie, they awaken Rodan. Rodan starts to wreak havoc on the entire freaking continent and he's just flaming and the way they just do the effects of just the terror and the size when he's perched on the volcano and he's flapping and kids are like flying everywhere, your jaws are dropping. Finally, okay, I'm fast forwarding a lot of crap. To the end, um, they, Godzilla is in a weak state. He's not dead, but he's gone to his home in the center of the earth to kind of regenerate and absorb uh, radiation. This could take a lot of years. So my boy, let them fight, goes over there with a nuclear warhead and does a self-sacrifice into Godzilla's face to create an atomic Godzilla 
who basically deus es machinas into Boston and starts beating up King Ghidorah, but then Rodan comes, but then Mothra comes, and she's like, <laughs> and she just, boom, slams Rodan and stabs him in the heart. Whoa, slow down there, tiger. Let's take this a step at a time. We did say spoilers, didn't we? <laughs> but then Godzilla is losing, so they have to, the, the villain of the movie, which was the woman, has to take the freaking thing and create a diversion so sacrificing herself to buy enough time for Godzilla to turn atomic and this thing let me tell you he's stepping and everything around him is melting and it is fire he is the sun and he looks red his skin is red and he, as he's approaching King Ghidorah King Ghidorah can't even fly away because its wings singe off and he looks like he's gonna explode and he just boom kills King Ghidorah like a pit bull on a squirrel. I swear, it is the best movie and you're doing yourself a disservice not watching it. It is the best movie of 2019. They tease throughout the entire movie, King Kong versus Godzilla next year. And I guarantee you it's better than the X-Men crap that's coming out next week. I rarely advocate for a film. This film has a 40% of Rotten Tomatoes. It's anti-SJW, it's anti-global warming propaganda, they talk about balance, the family is not all messed up, the woman is the villain, so there's a lot of things that these modern day critics don't like. Don't let that narrative fool you, go see the movie, and you will love it! Baby shark, do go to go to go, baby shark, go 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 go, baby shark.